This lecture will be on noun clauses. This topic can be found in Book 2, Lesson 22. Noun clauses are clauses where the whole clause is considered the object of a verb. Examples of noun clauses we've used so far are an indirect statement and an indirect question. The first noun clause we're going to learn about in this lesson is the volative noun clause, also known as the indirect command. These are clauses that follow verbs expressing a speaker's will, command, request, advice, decision, etc. These clauses are introduced in Latin by the conjunctions ut for the positive and ne for the negative. For example, constiterunt ut statuum spectarent. They decided that they would look at the statue, or it can be translated using an infinitive. They decided to look at the statue. Petiwit a spartanus ut Exilium ferent. Literally, he sought from the Spartans that they would bring aid, or he asked the Spartans to bring aid. The following verbs are commonly followed by an indirect command. Notice how they are expressing the subject's will, command, request, advice, or decision. The next noun clause we're going to learn about is a noun clause of result. Some clauses of result are also the equivalent of nouns. Verbs meaning happen, like a kiddo cause, bring about, effect, like efficio, or permit, like permitto, are generally followed by a result clause introduced by ut with the verb in the subjunctive, and the negative clauses are introduced with ut, but will have a non inserted in them. Noun clauses of result are not sig signaled by a so word, like ita, tom, sick, etc. The following verbs are commonly followed by a noun clause of result. Notice how they show to happen, to cause, bring about, affect, or permit. 